people always ask, where do thriller writers get their ideas? In this case, 15 seconds came from a real episode in my own life. I was on book tour in Houston, Texas, when I was stopped for a minor traffic violation. Somehow the conversation with the policeman escalated. He pulled me out of the car, threw me up against his car, handcuffed me, and told me I was under arrest as if I was some kind of terror suspect. Within a minute, the street was closed off. There must have been a dozen officers. All of a sudden, the questions began to get a lot more threatening. What am I doing in a federal office building? Who was that woman in the car with me just an hour ago? I didn't know who they were after. Now, fortunately for me, everything ended a bit benignly. But it doesn't quite end the same way for my hero in this case, and it certainly doesn't for the arresting officer. Fifteen seconds is the story of an innocent man who has to prove his innocence, of a chilling vendetta, and of a father who has to protect and save his daughter. As the book shows, it only takes 15 seconds for even the best of lies to fall apart.